This is my dog Ruffles, and he's dead. I mean, not really. But he will be dead if I don't build him an entire hidden city in the next 50 hours. Because this player decided to declare war against dogs. I hate dogs. So I'm gonna build the city right here. We have a big problem, though. Clearing this entire area kind of took eight hours. Meaning we need to begin building right now. So I've successfully brought Ruffles over to my city location. And I've also marked out where I want to construct all of the different buildings. But first, we need to begin setting up a wall around the entire city. So mobs like that aren't able to get in. Because this city is for my dog, I want the wall to be made out of these massive bones. And to do that, I'm going to need to get a lot of bone blocks. Now, the benefit of being on a server with other players is this beautiful thing I like to call stealing. So I should just be able to get... Oh... Okay, the player who I'm stealing from has just logged on. Yeah, I've got to go. Not to worry, though, because I have a backup plan. The nether is home to these strange bony fossil things, so I should just be able to... Fireball! So I should now have enough bone blocks to build. Nope, no we do not. This wall is nowhere near complete, which means I have no other choice but to initiate... Plan Zelta. Yeah, it turns out someone had already built a skeleton farm at spawn. Which would have been nice to know earlier. So now we have more bone blocks than anyone could ever need. We can just... And there we go. The wall is done. And now the real fun begins. Okay, I'll stop with the explosions now. Before building any skyscrapers or setting up traps, we need to lay down the essentials. And there's nothing more essential to a thriving city than a McDonald's. Nice. Okay, I, I just wanted to build a McDonald's. Now, building the McDonald's is gonna require a lot of concrete, since in real life, they usually have this modern design to them. Thankfully, using this redstone machine I built, I can duplicate sand, gravel, or in our case, concrete powder. And while this machine is at work, I should mention that all the things I'm gonna create in the city are gonna get bigger and crazier as we go along. <laughs> oh my god, look at all of that! So now I just have to place all of the concrete powder I collected, splash some water onto it. Oh! Wait! That's actually kind of satisfying! Well, that's over. Now I've got to... Mine all of it. Yeah, you guys are very lucky I used the power of editing to make that quick. Now, I'm gonna map out the walls of the first layer, leave some holes for the windows, and I think that looks quite good. I also want to make the McDonald's logo at the front. Oh, God! That looks terrible. Let's undo that. Okay, there we go. That's much better. However, we are still missing actual windows. And for that, I need to collect a load of sand so I can smelt it into glass. And because I want the windows to have a slight blue tint to them, I also need to collect a bunch of whatever those blue flower things are called. Wait, what actually are they called? Oh, cornflowers. I need to collect a lot of cornflowers. And there, the windows are filled and the exterior is looking pretty snazzy. So I should begin decorating the inside and creating a seating area. Oh, that's kind of concerning. Another player has found my city. Hopefully he's not teamed with Raz, you know, the guy that wants to kill all the dogs on the server. Ah! So all that's missing now is a system for my dog to be able to pay for his food because Ruffles may be a dog, but that doesn't mean he gets his Happy Meals for free. Now, because dogs don't use money to pay for things like we do, it only makes sense that their form of payment is bones. Okay, it doesn't make that much sense, but let's roll with it anyways. This means we need a machine, so however many bones are put in, the same amount of chicken comes out. And we need to figure this out quickly. Not only is time still ticking, but Ruffles is getting hungry. And you do not want to see Ruffles when he gets hungry. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure how to do this. I'm kind of just hoping and praying these random redstone components are going to do something. Oh! Turns out I have a cave under my restaurant. Yeah, uh, I don't think I've done this right. Hey guys, this is Rusty, and today I'm gonna show you... So now if I put one bone here, I should... Yeah, okay, I get a quartz, which doesn't look very tasty. So I just need to slaughter a bunch of chickens. And now if I pay nine bones to the McDonald's gods... <gasps> yes, okay, I get nine chicken in return. Perfect! The McDonald's is complete.
Oh god, that is disgusting. What do they put in this? Now, time is quickly ticking away, so I need to be a lot faster about building the rest of the city as well as the traps. But before I can even create any more buildings, I need to let you in on a secret I've been hiding from you. Thousands of blocks from the city we've been working on, I've kind of created a secret bunker where I've been collecting loads of stray dogs that I can't move into the city once we're done. This means not only will Ruffles not be lonely inside the city, but there's gonna be a full-on dog civilization there. I am still debating about bringing this dog into the city though. She kind of likes living in the walls. Which I do find slightly disturbing. Anyways, the next thing I'm creating is gonna be a massive tower of apartments. Because when I do bring these dogs over, they don't want to be homeless. The apartment building is going to be made up of two main blocks. One of which is bricks. Now to get bricks, I'm going to need to get loads of clay first. Thankfully, clay is everywhere in the ocean. So... What the? There's a puffer fish. And the other key ingredient I'm going to need is heaps and heaps of quartz. So that all kind of took like 10 million years to get. But now we have everything we need to get going. I want it to kind of go up in steps and gradually get taller. That way the structure looks super modern and really unique. Um, I'm gonna be honest. That looks terrible. Maybe if I try it like this? Okay, this is finally starting to take shape now. Hopefully you can see what I mean with the general structure I'm going for here. Okay, despite my worries, this has gone together super nicely. Plus, we're making very fast progress, which is good because after all, we do need to be quick with this project. Now, the building is still missing some vital features, such as windows and a roof. So I think it's time for a tactical explosion. I don't know why I always use explosions to travel forwards in time. So things were going really well for me. The first two buildings have been created and I even went on to construct another set of super simple apartments. And they really add a cool, colorful feel to the city, even if it does look like they were made by a two-year-old. But the problem is people kept finding the city while I was building. And it's only a matter of time until Raz finds the city himself. Which obviously isn't going to end well for Ruffles. So not only do I have to build the city even faster than I have been already, but I'm going to need to come up with some foolproof ideas for traps I can use to protect the dogs if Raz finds them. So this next building is really important for the city. Because if dogs are good at anything, it's getting themselves injured. So we're gonna create a a hospital that has a fully functional healing system for the dogs, all in memory of my dog that died in front of me on my first ever hardcore world. I... I still haven't gotten over that day. We are gonna need loads of white concrete. Oh. Okay, why is this actually so satisfying? And now the actual shape of the hospital is going to be kind of funky. Ooh, this is coming together really nicely though. I do want all of the builds in this city to be very different from one another. I want them all to be unique and special in their own ways. Now we're going to mix some darker colors in as well, so you don't just get flash banged every time you look at it. Ow. But hey, that's looking pretty spicy. I did warn you it was going to be shaped really weirdly. But you've got to remember, I'm currently building an entire city for my dog. I am not a normal person. Big problem. For the roof of this building, it's going to contrast really nicely if I can get my hands on these blackstone brick slab things. Now, normally, this would be fine. I could just go ahead and mine the blackstone in the nether to my heart's content. Oh. But I do not have that kind of time. Now, Piglin do sell blackstone, and that would be a super quick way for me to get my hands on it. However, without gold, that won't be possible. Which is why I'm on my way to meet up with another player who said I could use her gold farm for free. She's giving me potatoes, but is it secretly a bomb? I don't really know if I can trust this player, but I do know that they are friends with Raz. Which, you know, just so happens to be the guy I'm trying to protect my dogs from. I guess I'll just sit in the minecart and wait for her to show me where it is. Ah, okay, I see. I guess I just wait up here. Oh. Okay. Oh my god. How do I get up here? Okay, there we go. I am just a little concerned that she won't leave the area. Almost as if she's planning something. I'm not gonna lie, I am slightly concerned. Hey, future Wenzo here. While I'm praying I don't get betrayed, if you're enjoying the video, please consider subscribing. It really helps me out and proves that you are an OG to the channel. Okay, well about half an hour has passed and I have yet to be killed. Meaning it probably wasn't a 
trap. So I'll just take this gold and put it into the piglin trading system. Uh, by the way, who actually chose the noises that piglins make? <laughs> They are so horrible. Well, hey, at least we have all of the blackstone we need now. And we have definitely saved some time. So now... Perfect. Now we just have to do the healing system and basically turn this into a fully functioning hospital for dogs. Which I guess is technically just a vet when I think about it. Yeah. Why did I not just make a vet? Firstly, let's actually make some sort of walkway in. Gonna make a seating area on both sides of the hospital. Actually, no. Only one side of this hospital will get the luxury of seating. Now to add some vending machines in case the dogs fancy a quick snack. Okay, why have I made them so chunky and ugly? There we go. These look a lot better. And I mean, why not make the healing system into a vending machine too? It'll be convenient, easy to use. We do just need to get some healing potions first. Oh, look! A random healing potion shulker box in the middle of someone's base. Well, I mean, nobody's put their name on it, so I'm just going to take these. And I guess I'll just use Ruffles to test out the Healinator 3000. Let him over with some steak. And... Oh... Might need to move this back a little bit. There we go, my child. You have been healed. Meaning the hospital is up and ready to go. Although it did kind of take ages to do. So for these next buildings, I should probably just... There we go. As you can see, we kind of speed builded, sp sped bed, sped builded. We absolutely speed ran creating two new apartment buildings. This city is really starting to take form and I can't even imagine what it's gonna look like when it's done. But as old people like to say, time is of the essence. So let's get back to building. <laughs> So this next build is going to be unlike any of the creations we've made so far. If you couldn't tell, the building requires a lot of stone, but it also needs a ton of spruce wood. So sorry, Mother Nature. Sorry, Mr. Beast. To all the trees that were brutally chopped today, your deaths will not be in vain. Because right here, we're going to build a church for Ruffles. It's going to be cool. It's going to be epic. Oh, God, it's raining. That's kind of ruined the vibes a little bit. I definitely want it to look kind of medieval and super detailed. All of these buildings in the city are so different from one another, though. I love it. However, just as things were going well, this was sent into the server's Discord. It seemed that Raz had begun hunting dogs earlier than he said he would. Now this means I need to build the city even faster than I thought I would in order to keep Ruffles safe. And planning some defenses to protect the dogs was now on top of the agenda. Okay, I'm just gonna build the roof to this church as quickly as possible. But I am now a lot more worried about my dogs. Oh! Oh my god, there's a horde of zombies underneath the floor. No, Wenzo, do not get distracted. Back on with the roof. Okay, so we've got the roof done, the windows are filled, the inside of the church is looking pretty basic. So I guess I should add some sort of carpet? And to finish the church, I of course need to acquire a bunch of candles. Wait, how do I actually make candles? Honeycomb? Uh, how on earth am I supposed to get that quickly? <laughs> okay, so, uh, five minutes later, I found someone's honeycomb farm. <laughs> yeah. There we go. The church is officially complete, but time is still ticking. So I am going to have to crack straight on with the final few buildings before I can begin working on not only the town hall, but the traps and defenses as well. Oh, and I've been set on fire. Amazing. So something's been bugging me about our city. We have loads of buildings, one of which happens to be an end city building, but we have no nether related bi- Oh. Oh, oh, wow. I've... My internet's died. Great. The plan is to make a block of towers, all made out of blocks from different biomes in the nether, which means I need to first collect all of these crimson blocks, all of these basalt blocks, all of these yellow warped forest blocks. Wait, did I say yellow warped forest? Uh, and all of these soul sand blocks. 
which are not yellow. I'm not going to make that mistake again. More messages were coming through, however, with dogs all around the servers beginning to disappear. I honestly can't tell you why Raz hates dogs so much, but I just know I need to get a move on. Okay, let's build the towers right here, starting with the warped one. So for the tallest tower, I'll make the structure beams from the blue warped logs. And yeah, I do want these towers to be different sizes each so they don't just look boring. The actual walls will be from the leaf things, which aren't actually leaves at all. And the roof design will be very simple because I actually tried making a roof for this building 10 minutes ago. It did not look pretty. Now we can move on to the next tower, which will be a mix of the two ugliest biomes ever, the Soul Sand Valley and the Basalt Delta. And last but not least, it's Crimson Time. Now for the windows of these buildings, I need to gather these orange flowers. Uh, no clue where I'm supposed to find them though. Aha! Gotcha! And there we go! Very, very simple, but very, very effective. I'm slightly concerned. I logged off for 10 minutes to take a break and walk my IRL dog, and Raz just DM'd me saying lol. I'm not sure if perhaps he found the city while I was gone, but Ruffles is still alive, so I'm a little worried what he means by this. I don't know. I'm just gonna continue creating my city for now, you know? Kind of pretend that never happened. I assume he's just being weird. He, he is a very weird person, after all. And there we go. We've got all the materials for the next build which, by the way, is... Bam! Done! Ice Castle looking magnificent! On to the final building before the town hall! Oh my god, bro! I was AFK! <laughs> okay, so final build reveal. Yeah, it looks kind of bad, but I don't care. The rest of the city looks absolutely beautiful. And now we only have one thing left to do. Well, two. Well, three, actually. We need to build the town hall before time runs out and create a trap for Raz. We also need to decorate the city so it looks cute, pretty, and amazing. Finally, we lure Raz over to the city so we can trap him because that's going to be the surefire way to be certain that he never tries to mess with my dogs in the future. So I've already marked out all the foundations for the town hall, but right now I want to finally bring over all the other dogs and, you know, get them into all the different buildings. Basically begin the dog civilization at long last. So I think I know now what Raz meant when he sent that one message just saying lol. The trap I was going to build for Raz was originally going to involve all of these dogs. And I mean, that's not really even a possibility now. Honestly, I don't know how we're going to be able to continue with this. No way. The, the weird wall living dog survive- Wait. This is actually massive. It's not going to be as easy, but I can still trap Raz. And that is something I have to do after what he's done to not only other dogs on the server, but all of my dogs as well. And I've got a plan to regain my footing. Phase one of the plan. Kill innocent animals so I can breed an army of dogs. Phase two. Begin breeding said dogs. Oh, he's so cute! Phase 3. Continue building the town hall. Phase 4. I've ran out of terracotta. Collect more terracotta! Phase 5. More building. Phase 6. More <coughs> breeding. 7. Building. 8. Child producing. 9. More building. 10. Dogs everywhere. More building. More dogs. More building. More dogs. Random explosion. More dogs. Okay, we are finished with the outside of the town hall. Now I'm going to explain the plan to trap Raz while I do the interior and the final decorations for the city. So I'm basically going to lure him over to the city and instantly get him to wear this disguise that blends him in with the dogs. Conveniently, this disguise happens to be made from leather, so he should not be hard to trap. From there, I show him around the entire city. He gets distracted by all the beautiful buildings we've created over this time period. 
leaving him unprepared for a trap I've built inside the town hall. The journey of building this city has taught me so many lessons. Not only have I had to persevere through annoying obstacles and perform under a heap load of pressure, but I've also learned the importance of not giving up even when things seem at their darkest. Everything we've done all leads up to this next moment. And the trap I've prepared for Raz, well, let's just say nobody will be expecting this. Rasmus. What's up? I'm gonna need you to follow me. I'm taking you to a space very, very special to me. Oh, what? Follow me. <laughs> the trap I've hidden for Raz is inside the town hall. But first, it's imperative that I distract him with all of what the city has to offer so he lets his guard down. What? Hello, Raz. Now, first protocol before I take you any further to my dog okay. city I have been working on. You must be one with the dogs. Take a set of armor. My goal is fairly simple. To get you to realize that dogs are cool. And get you to admit that they're kind of cool. Okay, well, so... but skeptical. Now, this Dog Donald's or McDonald's is fairly functional, actually. Okay. I'm just going to pay all of my bones. Okay, it turns out the McDonald's is currently um, no longer working as it was. The dog hospital. That's huge. That's actually huge. Um, You've got a few receptionists kind of just vibing. Now, we actually have a healing station for when dogs get ill. So, I mean, you can stand here. It works on humans too. I'm, I'm a bit questionable about this, but yeah. Gotcha. Oh! Yay! So, look, if I were to quickly hit you there. Oh! But now, Raz, I'm going to take you to the final... Attraction. The great town hall. This is it. This is what it has all led up to. Hours upon hours of just straight up building has all come down to this very moment. Oh my god, this is fancy. Rasmus. Yeah. While it may be fancy, you're going to see something you don't like the look of. You see, my goal with all of this, all of these buildings, is to prove that these dogs are so much more to people than just pixels on a screen. Over Minecraft, I've had loads of pets. I've had a pig called Max. Now I have a dog called Ruffles. And I even had that one dog from my hardcore world many years ago. If I was to trap Rasmus normally, it would only anger him further, almost solidifying the death of Ruffles. So really, if I've truly succeeded with this city if i've truly managed to persuade raz to change his ways he should jump into the pit of dripstone ending the war he has against dogs you know after what i've seen today you know i've, I've gotten a different picture of dogs i mean they're still dumb but but they're not bad you know what i'll be the first one to take the step Thank you, Rasmus. This is a good day. Now I'm gonna steal all your loot. Let's go. Oh. No! <laughs> and if you enjoyed this video, then you are going to love this one as well. Trust me, you do not want to miss it and forget about it later. Subscribe!